praise God and hallelujah. Papa, we bless you and honor you, O oh God. Papa, we just want to exalt your wonderful name. Indeed, you are good and your mercy is endured forever. Thank you that today is another day that you have made. Therefore, Papa, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you so much and we pray the Lord Jesus today to have your way. We thank you, O oh God, for the gift of another beautiful day, for the strength given unto us, for the healing given unto us, for your protection and your guidance. Thank you so much. We know that today, too, you will order our steps, O oh God. So I will take one step at a time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord Jesus. Brethren, the Lord, we are so thankful that the Lord is with us. He is good and his mercy is endured forever. We pray that he, the Holy Spirit himself will take absolute control and speak to us today too. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? Remember that Jesus is coming again, and it is very soon. No one knows the time nor the hour. No one knows anything about his coming. But we know that for sure he'll come the second time. Hallelujah. Brethren, we'll take our devotional reading from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 to 31. I am the handmaid of the Lord Evangelist, Mrs. Jacqueline Enin, that the Lord through me is bringing his word to all of us. God bless you for being here with us. Let's hear the word of God. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Na ono ena nenti asie eni susubia ono na madia wa bre ana so ni aho den enya tumi na ni na ho den asa no oma na ho den fofro emrante e ehwehwe ase omo bre na mo hwehwe ase na em em emerman so ehwe ase e wo obre mu no more modem rush as a for a demon dear. Or say, Obe no more who are demo for fro. Na omobe fro a cos so sa bo a corrier. O mumbe to me can answer. O more empire number nineteen. No more Hallelujah. The Bible is the word of God. Hallelujah. And the word of God is telling us today that have we not heard. Or don't we understand that God is the everlasting God? He is the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. And we know that God in his might created this whole world. He called everything into being with the exception of human beings that he created in his own image. All others are creatures of God. Hallelujah. And so if anyone is in Christ, is a new creature, the old has passed and the new has come. So if you have accepted Jesus, it means that the old has passed and the new has come. Therefore, we need to live in good. Uh, we need to live in newness as new creatures in Christ Jesus, as children of God. Hallelujah! And it says that our God never grows weak or weary. So there is no need taking up things for ourselves. We always have God on our side. We have him. He says we should come unto him. All you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus said this, meaning that 
there is rest in him. So if we bring our burdens before him, he will give us rest. Hallelujah. It is so good to hear that. He also say, The Bible also says that he never grows weary or weak, and no one can measure the depths of his understanding. Hallelujah. It is by grace that at times God releases his understanding, some of his understanding for us, so that it will help us grow in him. But we know that no man can understand the Lord. Unless he opens your eyes, he opens your ears to hear and see, you know, know nothing about it. So, our God is good and he knows what is good for his children. Hallelujah. Verse 29 says that he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. And so, there are people who, because they do not have anything, are even in prison now. Because they had no one to defend them. Brethren in the Lord, they may be innocent. In the same way, in the Lord, we need to rely on him for everything. Because we are powerless. We do not have any strength. If the Lord does not set in to have his way in our lives, we will be good for nothing. But he who turns the nobody to somebody is turning our lives around today. That he's taking us from nobodies to somebody. Be prepared for the Lord because the Lord is seeking for souls to use. That is why when he called upon Isaiah, he said, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Hallelujah. And so we see that God calls and then he strengthens us. He gives his word to us. And he uses us for his own glory. We have no power of our own. That is why youth who use their strength, who use their own strength, become weak and tired. It says that even youth will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. So, we know that it is God who fights our battles for us. All we need to do is to pray. All we need to do is to study his word so that when we come before him, whether young or old, we'll be strengthened to do his work. Hallelujah. And those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. So where is your trust? I believe your trust is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in him and believe in him. With all your heart. The Bible says that before we come to him, we should know or we should believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So the Lord has given us strength to soar high with wings like that of the eagle. And it says that when we run, we will not grow weary. When we walk, we will not faint. May the Lord help us to remain faithful unto him so that his strength will always be our portion. Do not leave behind uh, Christ or the power of Christ of, of the Holy Spirit and go ahead of the Holy Spirit. We need to walk hand in hand with the Lord, with an intimacy, with with a cordial relationship with God. Other four, as a Christian channel, Sanu and Neo and Yemo Yemubi around your Yuraba, we know the Lord is preparing us for His coming so that when He appears in glory, none of us will be left out. Brethren in the Lord, do the work of an evangelist. Let's share the gospel. Let's share it with other people. Let's click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell so that you always have notification when we post any video. God bless you. God bless you so much and have a fruitful day. If Jesus does not come today, we'll meet tomorrow on the line. God bless you and bye-bye.